Hello from the small window on your screen. This is Adam Turtle Taub from the Society of Corporate Compliance and Ethics talking to you from Los Angeles. Joining me via Skype at the SCCE headquarters are Jenny O'Brien, who's the Chief Compliance Officer of United Healthcare, and Roy Snell, who is, of course, the CEO of the SCCE. Thank you both for joining us, and also thank you both for doing a session on influencing decision making, which will be one of the general sessions at the 2014 Compliance Institute, which will be taking place in Chicago from September 14th through 17th. Roy, you're going to be talking about leveraging influence, both of you. Um, what do you mean by, by that exactly? When, uh, when I was a compliance officer at the University of Wisconsin, I would use others in the organization to help me and the compliance program get the things done that we needed to get done. The CEO, uh, the general counsel, uh, the chair of the audit committee, the chair of the compliance committee, we use those people in various situations to uh, help with difficult uh, decisions, uh, such as allocating enough time for education or conducting an investigation. It was uh, very helpful uh, to, to get the assistance of others and leverage their influence. So when you discuss, you know, leveraging the influence of others, are you talking about the employees or the leadership or both? Which, which levels? I would, I would use all levels, uh, from the top to people on the line that are respected by their peers. Uh, I would go in and I'm, at times I needed to carry the ball. At other times uh, I would find somebody in that group that they respected and, and get their assistance to uh, get things accomplished. Interesting. Now, uh, Jenny, you know, as, as Roy's talked about, you know, different people for different things, does it really matter how you approach things if you're talking to somebody who's senior versus somebody who's more junior? Yeah, you know, I think one thing that, as I listen to Roy, um, and we've talked about this, is um, two things that describe what he did to be successful is he was very strategic, he was very innovative, and very creative and thoughtful in how he approached issues. He didn't just jump into a situation. And that's what we're going to talk about is, is um, this is one of the most creative and innovative jobs I've ever been involved in, and that's why I've been doing it as long as I have, because each interaction is critical. And as you look across your organization, if it's a CEO or a CFO or a chief information officer, or you have someone on the front line uh, as well, you have to think about how are you going to communicate them, to them in a, in a way that it, it matters in their world. And that's why it's so critical that we're able to walk in the shoes of others on our teams, our business partners, not expect them to walk in our shoes as compliance professionals. So what does it take to be a CFO and what their interests are in carrying out the plan? Are you a chief sales officer? What is their world like? And then someone on the frontline staff to really understand what, will, what words will help make it effective that it's meaningful to them and they'll have interest and passion in helping carry out what needs to be done. Sounds great. So what are some of the key sort of concrete takeaways people can expect from the session? Well, what we're hoping to do, uh, Adam, is to help people understand uh, the tools uh, that, that are available to them with regard to influence, uh, to give them some uh, concrete examples of how to uh, influence others. And uh, I think this is particularly important because Influence, uh, to me, is one of the most important skill sets a compliance professional uh, can have. Uh, of all the people I've met over the last 18 years in the compliance profession, um, I think influence was the skill set that the, the greatest compliance professionals had in common. Well, thank you. You certainly, uh, I think, laid out a very intriguing proposition, you know, and certainly raised thoughts about really the idea that we're here as compliance professionals to really get other people to act. It's not just about compliance people doing the action. So thank you uh, for your time today. Look forward to hearing the session and hope all of you who are watching will be able to join us September 14th through 17th in Chicago for the 2014 Compliance and Ethics Institute. I'm Adam Turtletow from the SEC. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.